Hello, David Paul here. This is Mario. Uh, and we're at Scotland and he's doing the pose like Mangagawa pose. Now, the reason I'm making this, this video is because we finally got all of the pins in and we've lo located all of the positions of this uh, six-pointed star thing. That is the basis of the house. And this is a real turning point because I've now got, I've got, it's supported at all points in some way or another. And I'll put some thin supports here. Um, so the pins are all in. Some have got bolts in, some have got pins in. I've discovered that there's such a pain in the backside, these things, lining them up. In future, I'm going to just use nails. So all, all boards that get nailed on here are just going to get nailed on. Uh, and that's good enough for me. So, uh, in various places, like over there, there's a tree growing at an opportune position, which will assist in supporting the, the house. Let's, or is it a cabin? Um, and that's it. Now, the, the apexes of the, of the um, cabin don't line up. They'll be... The, the, they're going to have to be, like, cut out and a piece of wood run in there from each of the points... Um, and you're going to end up with a, a sort of circle hashed up into equal little triangles. And that's that. And that's the end of that. Now, the idea is with this is that as you construct it, as time goes on, you will put a new layer on the top. So if there's any rot of material on the bottom, you just simply extract it, sew it out, dump it, and put a new one on the top. And the cabin's constantly lowering itself down uh, and that's that um, so excellent little view of the sea over there I'm going to have to extend my stay here um, in the Philippines for various reasons for another couple of months uh, it's around about the 5th I think today or is it the 6th uh, my visa ends on the 25th of September I'm going to extend another two months which will take me the 25th of November teaching jobs are well I've got various uh, inquiries uh, that people are making about getting me for teaching one is in Riga in uh, Latvia fabulously high pay so um, I may take that and I may not and I'm just doing fine I'm financially stable here I don't need to do anything just just potter on and slowly construct this house. I'm comfortable in the Rojas family house. And I spend some time in Davao. And that's it. Um, and there it goes. So, what next? The next thing is just to support the ends here. And then I'm going to start to put these airframes all around the structure. And then uh, it'll start to get it, you know, start to be complete. And then I'll put a roof on. Uh, and then I can start to work in comfort. Because, I, I you know, I really pushed myself today in the, in the middle of the heat, mid, midday heat for two hours. So I've, I've introduced a one-hour rule. You don't come out here in the middle of the day for more than an hour. Uh, we've been here uh, a while, and I'm, I'm fine. I'm sweating, but... It's it's late afternoon and the sun is going down, so it's not so bad. Need to get my chainsaw fixed. I've got a jam cable on it and uh, do some work on that, although I don't imminently need it. And then over the other part of Scotland over there, there's a great big data tree which has to be brought across here for the, the roof structure. But that will be um, at a later date. Um, when I get the, the uprights in. So, work, 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 work. Next project uh, is going to be a small cabin over in that direction, which is basically um, another bedroom and the one over here where I'm standing. And uh, they're much, much smaller jobs, about... I don't know, about at least half of the size of this, if not uh, a third, say. 
Um, and that's that. So, Jesus be with you. <laughs>